Hi everyone, I have another box opening for you. So in here is a, Mia's over there opening her box. <laughs> Are you doing a box opening? Yes. Yes, okay, so in this box there is a kit, a very rare limited edition kit and I was so happy that I found it on eBay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look. So if you're wondering about my other dolls, that if you've watched my other videos, um, I have them just about done. I'm waiting for uh, Marigold's eyes and I'm stripping the paint currently off Maxwell. Um, that paint stripping is definitely no joke. Um, it's definitely, they weren't kidding when they said that you definitely need some elbow grease for that. So I didn't find a lot of information on how to strip silicone paint off a silicone doll. Um, the only thing that I did find was they suggested to use uh, sandpaper, which that's what I've been doing. I, I found that wetting it down and then rubbing it uh, in circles, slow, slow circles, took some of it off. The face especially, like he's looking really good in the face. There's some areas I noticed that are starting to crack, so I may end up having to do like some kind of fill to that. I don't know if there's a way that you can, I can open it. fix the cracks on a silicone doll. I'm gonna assume you can, maybe with some kind of silicone type glue. Uh, now whether or not that will come out looking properly is another thing, but at this point it's just fine line hair cracks. I definitely need some better scissors for this. I apologize, this is taking so long to open. So yeah, his, his cracks are just fine line hair cracks. And I've got to say, this is so adorable. I love vintage things and I love babies. So I may, I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep that. All right, so here we go. So here's the kit. There's some information here that she included. Oh. <laughs> I just hit the table and some things came crashing around. Okay, so she came with her certificate of authenticity and she's number, I can't hardly see that, it's black on black. I think that says 619, that's what I'm gonna say. And that's where I can put her, her new information, her birth certificate once I finish her. I might have, I might be putting this one up for sale. So if you see the makeover video of Marigold and you like what you see, then you may wanna reach out to me and uh, see about having uh, Susu made up. I do like stickers. Well, that is really, really cute. Um, that's the best birth certificate I've seen yet. <laughs> that is so cute. And then we have, some, I'm actually not really sure what that is. Oh, oh. Duh, it's a paper doll. Oh my gosh, this lady is so awesome. So I bought this from a woman on eBay and I noticed that she does have other kits for sale. Let's see if I can find the name. It's a dinosaur. Nope, I, I asked it out. I <laughs> cut it out, sorry. I'll see if I can find that. And if anybody is interested in knowing where these kits came from, I can I can give it, I can comment in the comment section. So, so like I said, I, I'm thinking about selling this one. This is the Susu kit by Natalie Blick. And I'm thinking about doing her with dark hair and dark eyelashes. Oh, that kit is gorgeous. Look at that. I was so lucky to find this. And no paint stripping and no rerouting this time. It's just straight up. Re, uh, reborn <laughs> and to be honest with you I really didn't mind doing the little extra work for the other dolls I mean it kind of gives you a little more makes it a little more valuable to you just because you did all that work extra extra work so you appreciate it a little more I guess is what I'm trying to say oh the limbs look great she has really long legs straight legs and there's her toes if you're wondering what the kit looks like 
This looks exactly like the one I just painted, which it would. <laughs> she has <clears throat> one closed fist. And I oh, don't mind my fingernails. I've been sanding down a doll, so. <laughs> um, those fingernails look, are really nice to paint. They're really easy and they are well sculpted so you can see them. They're not painting well, half the finger and half the fingernail. So yeah, those are nice. I believe those she must nice. be an, a, maybe an infant slash toddler because she's not a newborn, that's for sure. But she is one of my favorite kits. I saw her, well, mostly oh, her nice. eyes. I just love the way that her eyes look. Yeah. And, so that's why I fell in love with this kit. But thank you so much for joining me again today. I'm going to try to post some more stuff here soon. I've got those reveals I talked about. So please like and subscribe my videos. And I will continue doing this. If you think that is something you'd like, let me know. Thank you.